Hello, welcome to Wilder Recovery Services, where we specialize in co-occurring treatment as outlined by the Minnesota Department of Human Services. Our services are programmed to be individualized and based on your needs. This may include group and individual sessions that involve educational lectures, group therapy, one-on-one -on -one sessions, take-home assignments, additional skills, and recreational activities. These sessions are facilitated by licensed alcohol and drug counselors, with some groups having co-facilitations with mental health professionals and, at times, students and or interns. During treatment, you are expected to work on your sobriety goals and will be asked to give in random UAs. An evaluation utilizing the ASAM Six Dimensions criteria and risk ratings would be assessed on your mental health and substance use issues, with questions that focus on specific areas in your life. This will allow you to access the variety of services available within Wilder. Upon admission, you will be assigned a specific counselor to identify problems and develop a plan to address your issues. If we can't address your issues, then the appropriate health and social services will be provided for you. As a professional in this field, we are mandated reporters. This means that if you say that you're going to hurt yourself or someone else, we will have to take measures for your safety. This will vary depending on your situation. If at any time you feel that you are being maltreated or have become a vulnerable adult, you have the right to report to the Minnesota Adult Abuse Reporting Center. Please talk more about this with your counselor. Rights and responsibilities. What are your rights and responsibilities? You will receive a copy of the Bill of Rights. You are expected to sign the agreement stating that you have received it. This Bill of Rights includes your right to confidentiality, data privacy, and grievance procedures. Only certain information can be shared with other program staff to provide you with appropriate services and to collaborate on the best care for you. Your information will not be given to anyone else without your permission. A release can be signed by you for other people and places that you allow information to be shared with. You may see other people at Wilder that you know, and their information is confidential as well. You have the right to participate in your individual treatment plan during your session with your counselor. Any equipment such as cameras or types of recording devices are not allowed on Wilder Foundation property without prior permission from staff. You have the right to express concerns about services from Wilder. It is our policy to give consideration of resolving issues. You may discuss this with your counselor or supervisor for further help. Hepatitis and HIV. HIV is a virus that weakens the immune system and can damage the liver. Some signs to look for are flu-like symptoms, trouble breathing, fatigue or tiredness, weight loss, and fever. People can be infected by injection of the virus, which can be through sexual contact, sharing needles and piercings, contaminated food and drinks, such as cutting oneself with blood involved. You cannot be infected by using the bathroom, shaking hands, or sharing food. If you would like to know how to be tested for this, you may get your blood drawn at a clinic to detect HIV. People who are infected can be treated with antivirus medication, which can help delay or limit liver damage. TB. So what is tuberculosis or TB? TB is a disease caused by germs that spread from person to person through the air. It is an illness to the lungs that can be spread to the brain, kidneys, or spine. Symptoms of TB include weakness, weight loss, fever, chest pain, night sweats, and coughing blood. TB can be spread by coughing through the air, sneezing, speaking, or breathing. Their germ can stay in the air for many hours, and other people can become infected. You can be tested for TB by doing a mantel, which is a skin test that is injected to the lower part of your arm, or you can get your blood drawn. Treating TB can be done by your doctor with medication. It is important for you to meet with a counselor to discuss safety and health concerns. This will determine if you are in need of more support and if you are able to start treatment. Some immediate plans will be put in place before you start programming with Wilder Recovery Services.